recent NBC investigation found at least 33 instances where you posted about a specific person or institution and that person or institution was immediately bombarded with death threats and violent threats, um, including bomb threats, other violent threats. That's a pretty significant correlation. How do you, you know, what are your thoughts yeah, on Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but I got like tons of death threats um, the past, this week after the entire media machine came after me. So are they responsible for those? I don't think that there's um, the same correlation. Are you receiving bomb threats? I'm, I'm receiving death threats, like, hi, I'm going to come murder you. I get the same thing when a Fox News article goes live. So are the, is the journalist responsible, the journalist who missed the article? I would say, um, you know, there's a different responsibility when we're talking about media. And I, and I guess to me, a death threat is different than a violent bomb threat. You know, a lot of LGBTQ people say that your posts cause an enormous amount of pain. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel that your reporting on me causes me pain? I feel sad for that, honestly. Yeah. yeah. So would you stop? Uh, no, I'm a journalist and you're a public oh. figure. But I'm just talking about, you know, these, these non-public figures, right? These non-public figures that are... Well, if you put yourself out there on a public platform, then you're kind of making So anybody public. that posts on social media is a public figure, in your mind? Uh, if you're putting your videos out there with the intention that it should go viral, you want publicity. Why you don't speak up about the sexualization of kids? I don't think it's a problem. I don't see, I guess I don't see as much. If I saw an example of a child being sexualized, of course I have a problem with, you know, certain things. I, I will, I will actually, you know, I will say. So do you I think, think we should give kids porn in school? The, the images of like gay sex? I think like books like Gender Career, This Book is Gay. We should give that to kids in school. I have not read those books, so I don't know. But I do okay. think that it's important to educate kids about sexuality and empire. Here, this is the, a blowjob. What, I don't know what book this is from. Gender queer. Okay. So should this picture of a blowjob be in elementary schools? I've never seen a book like that in elementary schools, but I have no oh, idea. It, it has been. Okay. I've posted about it, yeah. So should it be in elementary schools? I have no idea the context. I have no so idea. So in what context, context should it, is it okay if it would be in I have school? absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I would not, I, I don't know, Kaya, because I haven't seen the rest of that book. I don't, you know, if you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. So you reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? The whole thing is based off of a lie. And I think that um, the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our, in our society. You know, I believe in personal liberty and bodily autonomy so, personally. So kids should be able to cut off their breasts if they think that they're boys. I mean, I believe in gender ideology. I guess I, I personally, my, my feeling is that I believe in personal liberty. A lot of people for their middle school graduation, women got nose jobs. I knew somebody that got a boob job at age 14. And I, I guess I struggle to kind of understand the criticism when there's certainly no criticism of that sort of thing, right? But then there's criticism of this other sort of gender affirming, you know, stuff. So you're you know. comparing a boy being allowed to chop off his penis to a teenage girl getting a nose job? Um, well, just to be extra clear, I don't believe that 13 year olds are able to make those sort of medical decisions. Minors are, yeah. Oh, really? And where? Yeah. Um, Children's National Hospital in DC gives 16 year olds hysterectomies. Oh, 16 year olds. They gave me that, they told me that directly. They said 16 girls and younger. That's what they said.